One of the greatest things about sports is you never have the faintest idea what's going to happen on any given competition. And one of the great things about covering Old Dominion football is you never know what's going to happen. Ted Alexander, Andy Mishaw, after a wacky game against Florida Atlantic, four two-point scores in this game. First time we've ever run into that. All in different ways. They're not all two-point conversions either. I mean, it was crazy out there today. It was safety dance time. Wear men without hats when you need them. Anyway, the Monarchs were down 3-0. Then a sack in the end zone, Stephen Williams and Marcus Haynes. Yeah, and it was just all out open season on the cornerback back there. Their tackles at FAU have been having some issues. They knew that. They came in through the weaknesses at them and went right after them. When they had to hit them, they got them. Then that made it 3-2. And then more pressure on the FAU Al quarterback in the end zone. He has to abandon ship. Intentional grounding in the end zone equals the safety, the second one. Yeah, and it's Nikosi Perry under pressure again. He tried a little pump fake and then just trying to get rid of it. And after a discussion, right call probably, there's nobody near that ball when he threw it. So you got one safety off a of sack and another safety off a of penalty. So the single drives in two, bottom of the third. It was 4-3 for Old Dominion. And the third two-point play. After FAU had scored to get right back in the hunt at 20-16, the Monarchs blocked the extra point attempt. Yeah, the extra point previous to that, they almost got it. It was the same guy. Jason Henderson came right through the same hole and just missed it. This one, he did not miss. And then Artarian Johnson picks it up, and there's a bunch of offensive linemen. They ain't chasing him down. 80 yards later, it's 22 to 16 for Old Dominion. And the final two point play of the day was a two point conversion. <laughs> yeah, the old hook and ladder play. They got that out to Jennings, and he dumps it off. and. Blake Watson takes it in. The funny thing was, it was played pretty well. FAU Marshall had run that same play against the FAU last week, and they ate it up. But this time, they were in position, and Blake Watson just got it anyway. Watson, a two-pointer right there. He had a touchdown, and for the fifth consecutive game, over 100 yards rushing. For the second consecutive game, over 150 yards rushing. It's two weeks in a row he's going crazy like that. It's just all on him, and he is he's taking it off. Hayden Wolf bombs away at times. Jordan Bly coming up with a big play. Isaiah Page, uh, his first touchdown as a collegian, and he had 289 through the air. And DJ Mack got in in spot duty to show that there can be a run pass option package. Yeah, and that was what they're trying to do when they get down to the red zone. This is one of the toughest red zone defenses, not in the conference, in the country. Came in the fourth ranked red zone defense, the FAU Owls did. They struggled when they got in there. It came away a couple of times with field goals when they wanted to get touchdowns. They switched things up. Didn't work as well as they wanted it to, but it showed that, you know they're thinking outside the box and that we can still work some things to get things to work the way we want them to. Final score, Old Dominion 30, FAU 16. Monarchs improved their record to 4-6 and six overall, 3-3 three and three in Conference USA. The Owls fall to 5-5 five and five overall. They're also 3-3 three and three in the league. It's on to Middle Tennessee looking for win number four in a row. For Andy Michaud, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.